Capricorn, you're up, my friends. How you guys doing today? Welcome in. This is your reading for mid-August. I hope you're doing great, 2023. Let's see where we go for you guys. Um, later today on our Heart Healing group, we're going to be talking about unhooking from exes, what that feels like, how to do it, how to move on, okay? That is going to be a big uh, lesson today. Jen is going to be on also, as she always is. And we're going to do a little journey about that to discover patterns and things that we might not uh, already understand to be true about this connection. So let's see what's going on. This reading might have nothing to do with that, but let's see what's happening for you, Capricorn. Shift. Some lovely energy right there. That's a nine card. Release. Wow. A <laughs> knife. Holy coley. And trust. Um, there's definitely a relationship right now going through some big changes. I feel like some of you are releasing stories. I feel like some of you are releasing the need to like defend yourself in a relationship. All right. Some of you may not fully trust the other person. Uh, some of you are in general, not trusting. Okay. And there could be a sense of like, um, I have to do battle. I have to do battle in order to make this shift. Okay, I have to really, you know, go to town or go to the go to the mattresses, okay, or something like that. Okay, who knows what movies that's from? If you do, drop it in the comments. Go into the mattresses, okay? Don't Google it. Just if you know it, drop it in there. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Uh, I feel like you're learning to trust yourself more these days, and. Some of you, this is kind of like an energy of like what we don't see, we don't know. This is like an apparition or this is something that um, you feel and you may be like, no, that can't be right. Just because I'm feeling it doesn't mean like it's a real thing. Like, what are you talking about? Like completely discounting your your own intuitive sense, um, not trusting yourself. So moon underneath is the... Um, the cards from underneath are the things that you don't see coming, okay? Ace of Wands, the Page of Cups, the Five of Swords. All right, that's a lack of trust right there. King of Pentacles, there you are. Seven of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Okay, so um, I feel like someone's coming, offering an olive branch uh, by, the, by the new moon. We have a new moon in Leo. Okay, we have a new moon in Leo. And that just feels like this person is like coming out of nowhere, right? The new moon, you can't see it in the sky, right? Because it's being obscured by the sun, even in the night sky. And so it's like, wow, all of a sudden there's somebody here with an olive branch. And I just think they're trying to manipulate me. Okay. I just think that they are uh, not telling the truth about what's going on. And I feel like I'm just going to sit on this, the nine of wands here Samesies, like same pattern, same thing. I'm never going to make this shift until I trust a little bit more, trust the universe, trust what I'm putting into play. You are planting the seeds of all good things. Why does this keep showing up? And I feel like that's something you don't see coming. All right, we'll go into that in the extended a little bit more. Queen of Swords. Judgment. I'll go through these one at a time for you. This is a modified Celtic cross. I'm using... Um, Tarot Made Easy by Barbara Moore. The uh, Let's see what the universe is saying to you. Knight of Wands. How we got here. Trusting your intuition or not trusting your intuition. Maybe you feel like your intuition led you astray. It's not true. Six of Swords. The World. Nine of Cups. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. And the outcome is the Three of Swords. So we definitely have some, um, I just feel like you're not trusting yourself enough here. Okay. Like you're seeing things clearly. You're being brought some new choices, some new opportunities. And you as the queen of swords is saying like, I know what's going on. I can see what's going on. My opportunity is to allow. That's where you're not trusting. So we did a workshop the other night, um, and part of it, this was um, our Lionsgate workshop that we were doing the other night. And I was talking about, I was talking about 369 manifesting. 
which is basically using the energy of three, six, and nine, those, those numerological frequencies to manifest. And one of the biggest things is if you're manifesting, but you're like, <laughs> okay, whatever. Like, I don't believe it. Then you're resisting. Okay. If you're doing the work of manifesting, but it, then the next 23 hours uh, of your, of your day out of 24 are pff, whatever, this whole manifesting thing is kind of loony, isn't it? Like you're putting it down. You're, it's like, you're, you're saying to the universe, I don't trust that you are gonna, you're going to have my back. And so I'm going to, I'll do the work sort of like whistling through the graveyard. Like I'll do the work of manifesting. Okay, Mary Jo, don't get all over me because I'm not manifesting. I'll do it. I'll pray. I'll manifest. But the other 23 hours of the day, you're like, what a crock. I don't see it showing up anywhere. Why isn't it? Where is it? It's not showing up because you're doing that because you're not trusting, all right? Very important. So the Knight of Wands, the universe is saying, it's time to get on with it. It's time to stop believing that everybody is out to get you. That, um, you know, and I can hear you saying like, well, just because you're paranoid doesn't mean people aren't really out to get you. Like people can still be out to get you and you can be paranoid. Both of those things can be true. Okay. But here's the thing. That's not going to end well. That philosophy of life is not going to end well for you. So, you know, I'm just getting the feeling that this storyline, which we'll dive deeper into, um, there's some reason for you not to trust. I feel like you have had love partnerships that have really kind of stabbed you in the back. Uh, and over and over and over again, people, maybe friendships, maybe other things have really made it challenging for you to be like, yes, I completely am open to a relationship or I'm open to um, something like a partnership or something like that. I can really do it. I can really. <laughs> he does not want me to finish this video. <laughs> yeah. He is an Aries and he does not want me talking to Capricorns. I don't know. So, um, you know, we are talking about the opportunity to receive and the ability to receive. And I feel like you have, there can be a, a, like a subtext here of the, there's a real disbelief at some kind of core functional level in any kind of receiving as action that this whole storyline about the divine feminine and, you know, this is really about masculine energy is action and feminine energy is receiving and like, yes, it has to be balanced. And I'm totally into that. I feel like that belies is belied by the fact that there's this King of Pentacles and whatever you've done before it that worked, whatever you believe worked or whatever, you still do the same pattern. You're still doing the same pattern over and over again. And it's not working. Like you're, you might've believed at one point it was working because that's what everybody said you're supposed to do, or that's what everybody said that, you know, we do or how we work things or how relationships are supposed to go. Like there's some kind of should here, should, shoulda, coulda, woulda kind of thing. Um, I just feel like there's a lot of holding back here because Holding back is not the same thing as receiving. So if you are doing, if Capricorn, if you are saying or believing in your mind that, well, you know, I'm not, I'm not actively doing anything. I'm, I'm open to receiving. I'm big to differ. I feel like there's a feeling of, well, you know, I'm not doing a goddamn thing. I'm just going to hang here and I'm just going to prove me wrong kind of feeling. That's resistance. There's also this feeling of like, I, I just feel like there's an under undercurrent of like pfft, divine feminine receiving. I can't allow myself to be caught flat footed again. I can't allow myself to be open. Okay. So this is the opportunity to be open. I can't allow myself to open myself up again to somebody who is going to ultimately screw me in the end. Like you believe this ending, you believe it. And 
So you're going to be very guarded. This makes you very guarded. Okay. The queen of swords. It's also like maybe you felt like you were following your intuition, but really it was fear and you weren't really following your intuition at all. You were following something around an old belief system that action is, is the only thing that matters. Okay. The masculine energy of taking action. This is a feminine with a masculine tool, right? The ace of the ace of swords she's got in her hand. And I believe that nothing moves, nothing happens without me shoving it, pushing it, grinding it, forcing it, taking action, doing it, doing it, doing it. Nothing moves. And I feel that that's a really strong belief system that um, puts you in a place of receiving is not valuable or it's not, um, it's not going to work. Right now, the divine feminine is opening up a lot of doors for all of us. And if we are of this opinion, especially Capricorn, you're being said this for some reason, you got to release whoever slit your throat in the past. You've got to release that. Maybe you need to forgive somebody. Maybe you need to kind of get in the sense of like, this is a masculine with a feminine tool. Okay. Um, the, the pentacles are a feminine tool. And maybe you need to get in that place of, of being um, allowing or able to allow without it getting the best of you in terms of your um, ego. All right. There could be ego around this. So four of pentacles, please clarify this four of pentacles for me. Knight of cups, six of cups, five of cups. Fool. I'd be a fool to allow. I'd be a fool to allow anybody to come near me. I would be a fool to do that. All right. So I'm definitely getting that. It's like, there's no way that you're letting in anybody right now, even though other people see you as like happy go lucky and Hey, I got everything I want and everything I need. I just feel like you've come to a place of like never again. And I'm going to clarify this three of swords. Four of cups, Knight of Pentacles, Emperor, stubborn, Ten of Wands. So we're going to dive deeper into this reading. I'm going to take a look at um, how you can sort of move on from this. There's a reason this is showing up. There's a reason this is showing up. There's a reason that you're going to start to need to learn how to trust. And we're going to get into that in the extended. All right, let's keep going. Link is below. I'll see you over there. All right, I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.